My name is Brian Marr. I'm the president, and CEO, and director of PPX Mining Corp. I've been involved in the mining business for over 35 years. Just prior to joining PPX Mining Corp, I ran Prodigy Gold, where we took the Magino deposit and took our company from a market capitalization of only $20 million to being sold for over $340 million to Argonaut Gold. The management at PPX understands not only the technical aspects of the business, mining, engineering, and development, but also the capital markets and the needs of our shareholders. The company is developing its Igor project in northern Peru. At Igor, we have the Cayenquitas deposit. We're developing the Cayenquitas deposit into a 350 ton per day underground mining and precious metal processing facility. However, the story of Igor is more than just Cayenquitas. We've recently made an extraordinary new discovery at the project called Portachuelos, where we see low-grade mineralization coming right to the surface in a potentially bulk mineable form. There are multiple other exploration targets on the property and we see Igor evolving into a multi-deposit district. One great aspect about the Igor project is its location in the northern Peru copper gold belt. We are literally surrounded by giant mines. To the north is Yanacocha, to the south, Lagunas Norte. The Shawindo and La Arena mines are just to the east of us. Because of this, access and infrastructure is excellent. We have grid power to the property, road access from the port city of Trujillo, and access to an extraordinarily well-talented local workforce. At PPX, we put out a string of news releases describing our new Portachuelos discovery. It's located about 500 meters south of our Cayenquitas mine, but differing from Cayenquitas, it's a large, low-grade, potentially surface mineable deposit. We've had intercepts of up to 40 meters at 2.7 grams per ton gold equivalent, starting right at the surface. We've traced mineralization for over 1,000 meters along strike and to the depths of 300 meters and it remains open in all directions, vertically and laterally. It appears that this deposit could be related to our Tesoros target, which lies another 1,500 meters to the south. And as we've been telling the public, this seems to be telling us that the Igor project is not just the story of the Cayenquitas deposit and mine, but it's a multi-deposit district scale development opportunity. As we look to the balance of 2018, there are multiple catalysts which should enhance our share price. Number one, we expect our pre-feasibility study to be delivered at the end of Q2 2018. That will be followed by mine development and operations. And very importantly, we're going to keep those drill rigs turning, seeing just how large is Portachuelos going on to Tesoros, and finally answering the question, just how big could the gold resource be at the Igor project?